Hello and welcome. In this video, we will talk about IT Support Fundamentals Part 2 course. Now, my assumption is that if you are going to be taking Part 2, you have finished the Part 1 course. In Part 1, we talked about careers, different salaries, some of the things that are kind of important, not just doing work on Windows 10 and learning some technical things, some things that are beyond that or ahead of that that you need to understand before you get technical so i hope that all of those lectures are covered in part one and you did not skip the first lectures because they are super important now for you to start part two in job skills share uh, in your courses my courses if you have light plus or premium membership you have access to all of these courses all you got to do is to go to your search box over here in the my courses section. If you just type part, you can see all the parts will come up, but we're looking for IT support fundamentals part two course, and then you will start this course. You can go over the curriculum and from here you can see what curriculum is covered. This is another pretty big course, almost about 12 plus hours. Uh, the first one was 21 hours and you can see that these courses are uh, skills related courses and long courses for for you to develop that fundamentals true fundamentals now when we come back to the overview there's something that you're going to notice and you might start scratching your head that why is part two related to comtia id fundamental which is basically comtia is saying that this is the first course and then people take comtia a plus but when you're learning skills and when somebody's creating a flow of courses, when they look at the content, we can decide which content is basically basic, very basic, and then what are other contents that has to be done later on. So CompTIA might have decided that that course is the first course for people to take so then they can get a more broader idea of different type of skills so then they can choose where they want to go. But because you're tr becoming an IT support professional, I'm going to explain why this is the second course in our platform, the labs and everything that we are going to touch. So when you come to this course and you start learning about it, of course, you're going to see repetitiveness. And as I, as I mentioned before, that in IT, when you're learning skills, repetitiveness is the key because you need to learn things again and again, different methods for you to get that in your mind or you know you can kind of save it this is like a memory that you're trying to save so then it becomes a second guess for you so why is the second course why is this part two if we go into the detail of this course let's say for example we start from the top of course we want you to go back to uh, learning uh, the operating systems uh, level skills or system tools because that's something that you're gonna come across again and again and because this course and the lab is created after the CompTIA A plus in practice lab this has newer systems and that's one of the main reasons because it has new systems you started that course that's a great course the fundamental part one you're going to learn a lot of things and then you're going to implement the same things almost the same things in some of these chapters on new systems and we want you to do that because you need to learn on new operating systems and then it has lectures and installing windows and everything so some of the lectures that you're going to see in part one may not be available so, so we we kind of like split this and say okay you know what this is the best way to do it because if we're not we cannot cram everything in one course we need to give people break they can do their projects so they at least can get something out of the first course and then they move on to the part two so here if you see there there are things going on in in this course that you probably won't won't see in the first course like for example the password policies domain so you're going to start touching the active directory which we wanted to wait for you did that a little bit in the first course but now you're getting a little bit more and more and getting into more modern type of uh, solutions like multi-factor authentications uh, managed backups and this is where the things gets a little tricky in this course and because you're watching this i hope you take notes we don't want people to get confused with learning html javascript python data types in python we don't want you to learn this type of things and think that this is going to be an it support type of uh, you know job 
uh, this is why uh, this is a fundamental course from CompTIA because they added this just so people can understand the basics of these things because people do work on this but not at the IT support level mostly 90% of the people we don't touch Python or JavaScript or HTML this is something the web team does this is something the DevOps this is something the people that are working in this area will be working on this you as an IT support professional shouldn't be worried too much when you see something like this and you're like wow do I really need to learn this stuff and that's the reason we made this part two because we don't want to put this in part one and then all of a sudden people are confused that do we really need to learn HTML so why is this in this course because it's a part of the lab so we will basically tell our members to you can skip totally these labs if you uh, don't want to do it but hey if you have the access it's good to learn there's nothing wrong with it at least you will get some kind of idea that oh okay that's how people in web development work maybe you love that kind of stuff um, python and things like that later on if you're going to go into security then yes these things are important like for example python is very important uh, if you know about this now moving to the databases we want you to learn about databases because yes an IT professional or a help desk professional when they're working in level one positions or interlevel positions are very restricted they may not even have access to active directory by the way they may have just access to some kind of portal and then you do like password research and everything but in JSS we're not trying to become we're not making you a, a person who is restricted we're making you a person who is an IT professional who can learn these skills and go out and get better jobs so if you're going to go for a better jobs, of course, in some areas, you're going to see databases. And at, even at the basic level, you will be given tasks to monitor databases or maybe reset something in database or do something in databases. And knowing about databases will help you in a very long run. Whether you want to become a sysadmin or become someone who at the, at the very high level, if you know about databases, everything is running off databases. So if you know about databases later on, any applications that is in front of you, you're going to understand it very, very clearly that, okay, this is, this is the backbone of this application. And I understand that. Now, the rest of the things, again, are, are also very important. Like when it goes to social engineering, you need to know that as a help this person so you don't click on something wrong because you have a lot of access, install productivity software, PDF creators. Uh, so it goes beyond that. And, and then it goes to this troubleshooting uh, in, in more than the first course. And then it goes into browser uh, settings and, and, and things like that, that these days they're very important because most of our web applications are running off web browsers. And then it goes to uh, like, you know, um, managing disks and everything, implementing a security with anti-malware apps. You can see it's getting a little modern stuff going on over here. And then you are testing, uh, you know, malware. And that's something you can do in your own when you are working in a, uh, environments, you get to work on this type of stuff. So by doing part one and part two co collectively with the labs, with the hands-on, if, you, if you're not doing this with the hands-on, of course, things are not going to work uh, great for you. If you have a sandbox access, you're a, you're a light member or a plus member, try to replicate a lot of things in your lab. Of course, as we mentioned that we make our labs on premium labs, so you're not going to be able to replicate 100%, but I'm sure things like password policies, uh, managing backups or something that's anything like you're doing that is a little bit of Windows or, or Active Directory related or you need a server, then, then Sandbox is going to really help you. But if you're a premium member, then I think you should really use premium member labs and not go into Sandbox because that's going to give you a little stress because we have not created our uh, labs on Sandboxes. And uh, of course, by finishing the first and two course, you're going to be ready for the technical course, which is the third course. And that is when, when we tell people that you should start applying for jobs. And while you're applying for jobs, you should be looking for, to enhance more and more skills in this platform because it, it doesn't end over here. It goes beyond this.